So here we're looking at switching variables in equations and plots. Now suppose we have a function which is shown below here, where volume is in centimeters cubed and time t is in minutes. So the question is what are the units on two, the coefficients two and the exponent three? So the coefficient two is actually in units of centimeters cubed per minutes cubed. And the reason why you know that is because it has to cancel out the t cubed, which is in minutes, and give you centimeters cubed, which is volume on the other side. Now the three, which is the exponent, has to be unitless because it doesn't make sense to raise anything to a power of something that has units. Now to help visualize the example, suppose that this equation represents you blowing up a balloon as over a very long period of time. So when t is equal to one minute, the volume of the balloon that you're blowing up is equal to two centimeters cubed. When t equals two minutes, the volume is 16 centimeters cubed, and when t equals three minutes, the volume is 54 centimeters cubed. Now let's say for some reason you decide that you want to plot this data in terms of seconds instead of minutes. So the temptation would be to do the following. <clears throat> let's just go ahead and convert t in this equation by con multiplying by this conversion factor, 60 seconds per one minute. Now why is this not correct? The reason why is, well there are several reasons why. The first one is, if your t equals one minute, which is also equal to 60 seconds, and you plug that into your equation, it's not gonna give you the correct answer of v equals two centimeters cubed. So instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna define a new variable, which is big T, which is measured in seconds, and use that instead of little t, which is measured in minutes. If we fill out our table here, big T in seconds would be 60, then 120, and then 180. And so what we have to do is we have to make our equation work for this new variable. Now this new variable big T is related to the little variable, the variable little t by big T equals little t times 60 seconds per minute. That's your conversion factor. So if we plug this with its new conversion factor into the equation, what we get now is our volume V. Now remember that's in centimeters cubed. Is equal to our coefficient two. Now remember the coefficient two is in centimeters cubed per minute cubed times what's now big T over 60 cubed. And remember this 60 here is in units of second. per minute. You can rewrite this as 2 over 60 cubed times big T cubed. And now this new coefficient here, 2 over 60 cubed, is in units of centimeters cubed per second cubed. And you can work that out yourself to figure out that that's actually true. So now this equation where V in centimeters cubed equals 2 over 60 cubed times big T cubed, that will actually now fit all of the data that we had filled in into the uh, table above. To see this, for example, let's let the big T, which is in seconds, equal 60 seconds and plug that in. So V equals 2 over 60 cubed times 60 cubed equals 2 centimeters cubed, which is what you get correctly in the table. So another option is to directly convert the units of the coefficients. Uh, that is, convert all the minutes and all the coefficients into seconds, which is essentially what we're doing by changing the variable. Now hopefully this will help you um, go through problem seven on problem set one.